We begin our exploration of the seven stages of money manifestation, an intricate process that involves both spiritual and practical dimensions. At the core, money is a form of energy, and it responds to our thoughts, beliefs, and actions. Let's start with the foundation, understanding our relationship with money. This is the first stage, awareness. Many of us have deeply ingrained beliefs about money, often inherited from our families or society. These beliefs can either empower us or limit us. Take a moment to reflect on your own beliefs about money. Do you see it as a source of abundance or a source of stress? This awareness is crucial because it sets the tone for everything that follows. In this stage, it's important to identify and acknowledge any negative beliefs you might have. For example, if you believe that money is the root of all evil, this belief will subconsciously sabotage your efforts to attract wealth. Instead, consider reframing this belief. Money itself is neutral. It's a tool that can be used for good or ill depending on the intentions of the person wielding it. Think about how you can use money as a force for positive change in your life and the lives of others. By shifting your perspective, you begin to change the energy you emit, aligning yourself with the frequency of abundance. The second stage focuses on intention. Once you have a clearer understanding of your beliefs, it's time to set your intentions. What do you really want to achieve with money? This isn't just about acquiring wealth for the sake of it. True intention goes deeper. Ask yourself why you want to manifest money. What will it allow you to do? How will it improve your life and the lives of those around you? Your intentions must be clear and aligned with your highest values. When your desires are rooted in genuine purpose, the energy you project becomes more powerful and magnetic. Setting intentions also involves being specific. Vague desires yield vague results. If you want to manifest a certain amount of money, be clear about the figure. If you want to use the money for a specific purpose, outline exactly what that purpose is. This clarity helps to focus your thoughts and actions, making it easier to align with the opportunities that will bring your intentions to fruition. Remember, the universe responds to specificity. It's like placing an order in a cosmic restaurant. You have to be clear about what you want. The third stage is visualization. This is where the power of your mind comes into play. Visualization is more than just daydreaming. It's a deliberate practice of imagining your desired outcome with vivid detail and emotion. When you visualize, you create a mental image of your goal as if it has already been achieved. This practice helps to bridge the gap between your current reality and your desired future. It activates your subconscious mind, which then works to align your thoughts, beliefs, and actions with your vision. To effectively visualize, find a quiet space where you won't be disturbed. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths to center yourself. Then, imagine your desired financial situation in as much detail as possible. Where are you? What are you doing? How do you feel? Engage all your senses to make the experience as real as possible. The more detailed and emotionally charged your visualization, the more powerful it becomes. This practice not only reinforces your intentions, but also helps to reprogram your subconscious mind to believe that your goal is attainable. Click subscribe to this channel to get more profound spiritual lessons. In the fourth stage, we move into action while thoughts and beliefs are important, they must be accompanied by action. Manifestation is not about sitting back and waiting for things to happen. It's about taking inspired steps towards your goals. This means being proactive and looking for opportunities that align with your intentions. It's about being open to new ideas and willing to step out of your comfort zone.
Consider what practical steps you can take to move closer to your financial goals. This might involve learning new skills, seeking out mentors, or even changing your daily habits. The key is to take consistent action, no matter how small. Each step you take brings you closer to your goal. And as you take these steps, pay attention to the feedback you receive from the universe. Are doors opening for you? Are you encountering unexpected opportunities? These are signs that you are on the right path. Harnessing the power of alignment and gratitude. In the fifth stage, we delve into the concept of alignment. Alignment is about ensuring that your actions, thoughts, and emotions are in harmony with your intentions. When we are aligned, we operate from a place of flow and ease rather than struggle and resistance. Think about times in your life when everything seemed to fall into place effortlessly. That's the power of alignment at work. To achieve this state, we must be honest with ourselves about what feels right and what doesn't. This requires a deep level of self-awareness and a willingness to make adjustments as needed. To begin aligning yourself with your financial goals, start by examining your daily habits. Are they conducive to attracting wealth? Simple changes like adopting a more disciplined approach to managing your finances or dedicating time each day to working on your goals can make a significant difference. It's also important to surround yourself with people who support and uplift you. The energy of those around us can greatly influence our own. Seek out individuals who inspire you and share similar aspirations. Their positive energy will help to keep you aligned with your own intentions. Another crucial aspect of alignment is emotional resonance. Our emotions are powerful indicators of our alignment with our goals. Positive emotions such as joy, excitement, and gratitude signal that we are on the right path, while negative emotions like fear, doubt, and frustration indicate misalignment. Pay close attention to how you feel as you pursue your financial goals. If something feels off, take a step back and reevaluate. Sometimes all it takes is a small adjustment to get back on track. Remember your emotional state is a key component of your vibrational frequency, which in turn attracts similar frequencies into your life. The sixth stage is gratitude. Gratitude is a powerful force that amplifies the energy of abundance. When we express gratitude, we acknowledge the good in our lives, which attracts more of it. This principle is rooted in the idea that what we focus on expands. By focusing on what we are thankful for, we shift our attention away from lack and scarcity and towards abundance and prosperity. Gratitude creates a positive feedback loop that enhances our ability to manifest our financial goals. Begin a daily gratitude practice. This can be as simple as writing down three things you are grateful for each day. These can be related to your financial situation or any other aspect of your life. The key is to genuinely feel the gratitude as you write each item down. Over time, this practice will shift your mindset from one of scarcity to one of abundance. You'll start to notice more opportunities and resources available to you simply because you are tuned into the frequency of gratitude. Gratitude also helps to build resilience. The journey to manifesting financial abundance can be challenging and setbacks are inevitable. When we cultivate gratitude, we build a reservoir of positive energy that helps us to navigate these challenges with grace. Instead of becoming discouraged by obstacles, we learn to see them as opportunities for growth and learning. This shift in perspective allows us to stay motivated and focused on our goals, even in the face of adversity. As we practice gratitude, we must also remember to extend it towards others, Expressing appreciation for the people who support and inspire us strengthens our connections and builds a network of positive energy. This, in turn, amplifies our own vibrational frequency and enhances our ability to attract abundance. Take time to thank those who have helped you on your journey, whether through their guidance, support, or simply their presence. 
Acts of gratitude not only uplift others but also elevate our own energy. In the final stage, we focus on trust and surrender. This is perhaps the most challenging aspect of money manifestation, but it is also the most liberating. Trusting the process means having faith that everything is unfolding exactly as it should, even if it doesn't always align with our expectations. Surrendering is about letting go of the need to control every aspect of our journey and allowing the universe to guide us. This doesn't mean being passive. Rather, it's about being open to the flow of life and trusting that we are being led in the right direction. Trust and surrender require a deep sense of inner peace and confidence in the abundance of the universe. It's about recognizing that we are co-creators of our reality, working in partnership with the universe. When we trust and surrender, we release the resistance that blocks the flow of abundance. We become more receptive to the opportunities and resources that come our way, often in unexpected forms. This stage is a test of our faith and patience, but it is also the key to unlocking the full potential of our manifestation abilities. The Art of Trust and Surrender in Financial Manifestation in this final part, we delve into the profound art of trust and surrender, the culmination of our journey through the seven stages of money manifestation. Trusting the process is about believing that your intentions and actions are aligned with a greater universal flow and that everything is unfolding as it should. This trust is not a passive waiting but an active state of faith knowing that your desires are being fulfilled in the right time and manner. It's recognizing that, while you may not control every detail, you are an essential co-creator in this dance of life. Surrendering to this process means releasing the tight grip of control and embracing the natural flow of events. This can be challenging, especially when we are conditioned to believe that control equates to security. However, true security comes from the understanding that the universe has infinite ways to bring abundance into our lives. By letting go of rigid expectations, we open ourselves to possibilities that we may not have envisioned. Think about a time when an unexpected turn of events led to a positive outcome. This is the magic of surrender at work. As we practice trust and surrender, we must also cultivate patience. Manifestation is not always immediate, and the timing of the universe may differ from our own. Patience allows us to maintain a calm and positive mindset, even when results are not instantly visible. It's about staying committed to our goals without becoming attached to a specific timeline. This patience is a form of inner strength, reinforcing our trust in the process and our belief in eventual success. An essential part of this stage is maintaining a high vibrational frequency through positive emotions and thoughts. Doubts and fears can lower our vibration, creating resistance to the flow of abundance. Whenever you find yourself slipping into negativity, gently bring your focus back to trust and surrender. Use affirmations, meditation, or any other practice that helps you reconnect with your inner peace and faith. Remember, the energy you emit plays a crucial role in what you attract. In trusting and surrendering, it's also important to stay open to guidance and signs from the universe. These can come in many forms, intuitive nudges, synchronistic events, or even messages through dreams and conversations. Pay attention to these signs as they often provide valuable insights and directions. Following these intuitive prompts can lead you to opportunities and resources that align with your financial goals. Trust that you are being guided towards your highest good. As we embrace this final stage, it's vital to practice self-compassion. The journey of money manifestation can be fraught with challenges and setbacks. Be kind to yourself and acknowledge your efforts and progress, no matter how small. Celebrate your achievements and learn from your experiences. This self-compassion not only nurtures your spirit but also reinforces your trust in the process. To conclude, 
The art of trust and surrender is about harmonizing with the natural flow of the universe. It's about having faith in the unseen, believing in the power of your intentions, and allowing the universe to work its magic. By mastering this stage, we align ourselves with the highest frequency of abundance, opening the door to infinite possibilities. Trust that you are on the right path. Surrender to the flow and watch as the universe brings your financial manifestations to life in ways beyond your imagination. How will you cultivate trust and surrender in your journey towards financial abundance? This concludes our exploration of the seven stages of money manifestation. May you find abundance, joy, and fulfillment as you apply these principles to your life.